Summer's right around the corner and there's a new place to get outside and enjoy live music. That's right, McMenamins is expanding and bringing concerts to Forest Grove. Fox host Stephanie Domrot joins us now in studio. Steph, what a great expansion for people who live out towards wine country. Yeah, absolutely. And the music director told me it really is just such a beautiful area and they're finally able to have that outdoor venue for people to enjoy a show in that area. He also tells me this move is coming at a perfect time. I got the chance to visit the newest concert space to give you a look at what's ahead. The next time you come, this stage will be up, the roof will be up, it'll look very rock and roll. It's the start of something new in Forest Grove. And then, you know, it opens up and then you see the stage and the and the venue. It's a, it's a beautiful area, there's plenty of room. McMinimins now expanding their music scene with Grand Lodge Concerts in the Grove. We really wanted to provide a, uh, a nice venue for people on the west side and out toward the coast. McMinimins director of music Jimmy Byron says having a venue on the west side has been a long time coming and they had the perfect spot next to the 100 year old Grand Lodge building. There was a gap between the Crystal and Edgefield which is now 7,000 and so this fills that sweet spot. Um, it's right in between uh, artists that are maybe a little too small for Edgefield but too big for Crystal. They'll fit perfectly out here in Forest Grove. The new venue seats up to 3,000 people and behind the scenes another first. We have Jasmine who's the dedicated uh, production manager so she runs, she's the boss, she runs the whole show out here. A she who is running the show. I was really excited to open up a venue. Um, I have had a hand in it, but never have been, you know, head of doing it myself. So it's been a bit of a learning curve, but it's been super exciting. When they were just starting out in music, both Jasmine and Jimmy say having a woman call the shots on set was unheard of. I would say it's been a pretty male dominated industry since the beginning and women weren't really given a seat at the table a lot, but you're starting to see women come in and you know, they're kicking butt and people are starting to recognize that and put them in more positions of power, which is cool. This summer, Jasmine and the rest of her crew will bring 11 concerts to the lodge. Meanwhile, Edgefield on the east side has their biggest lineup ever with more than 40 shows, many postponed from the last two years in the pandemic. We're really seeing a lot of enthusiasm, not just from the bands, but from the, the customers. You can tell there's an energy. They're really excited to, to get out. While it's looking to be McMenamin's busiest summer throwing concerts yet, they say they are ready to rock and roll. Your blood, sweat and tears are going into this thing to make it happen. And when you look out in the crowd and you see all of these people just really happy and dancing and excited to be here, it's what makes the job worth it. Well, concerts will begin at Grand Lodge on June 16th with she and him, as Shauna just asked me. And while Edgefield kicks off its season on June 7th, uh, they've also expanded their space, by the way, at Edgefield. They can host 7,000 people now. And for a full lineup of concerts at McMinimins, just head to our website, kptv.com. Kim and Shauna, back to you guys. Oh, it's so exciting, Stephanie. I love live music.